So, it was a bit of a shock, wasn't it, when she first went to prison. For viewers, nobody was expecting that because everybody thought, well, you're, you're in the soap, it's ongoing, you can't be gone for that long. But, yeah. of course, nobody knew you were pregnant. No, it was all kept a, a little secret, which was fun to do, actually. I mean, it was, it was quite difficult at times when I felt um, thoroughly pregnant. I was going to say, and how? At eight months pregnant, I was like... Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I, I think I left about seven m months, something like that, seven right. and a half. So, um, yeah, it was fine, actually, and we managed to do it. But at the time, I was thinking, how is this going to work? But obviously the costumes, they make sure from certain angles. Yeah, but you were good at it because you came in here. You, I think you came in here and did an interview. I was pregnant and I really yeah. wanted to tell you and I, I couldn't. Know. Yeah. I was so excited. Well, so brilliant. the writers, I assume, the writers knew uh, they they'd been yes, working I told on them it for from ages. From the moment it, you know, because we had lots of stunts with Jason Merrill's uh, the big um, uh, his character killing my character, wanting to kill my character. So that all had to be um, sorted out with stunt coordinators. Yeah. Um, and I was secretly a bit um, frightened because yeah. I was pregnant. Um, and the stunt coordinator was brilliant, it was fine. But how brilliant that Soap knew you were pregnant, they write it into the storyline, yes. you've just had a year away with your gorgeous, gorgeous baby. Year. How was your maternity and the, how is the little one? He's amazing, he's just climbed out of his high chair, I was just telling you this yeah. morning. He's amazing, he's just a bundle, he's a boy. He, and he's brilliant, oh. he's wonderful. Good. And good, so good, you're, good. you've loved your year? I've loved it, yeah. But I've loved coming back. Yeah. It's been, um, I've been dying to get back into the job and why is she back she is back because we've I mean, got this awful, picture here so she's she goes into prison um yes. she you've done a couple of scenes from behind bars but now you're out and her arrival she's not reformed <laughs> now kane let's discuss what's going to happen there because yes. before she went into prison she told him that she was in love with him again yes so as she coming back out to get him because a lot's moved on actually yeah. i mean he's very happy think, it seems i think she was going to pursue him immediately on um exit of prison but decides yeah. to play the long game i think because obviously they're a great um, close knit now, uh, Moira and Kane. Mm. And I think they're brilliant together as well. So I, I was kind of hoping they wouldn't immediately have Charity um, on, hot, on mm. his heels. Yeah. So I think it's just going to be a, a long. She's got Ross burning. as well, because Ross is the father of Moses, who yes, she was pregnant it's all with in, so the, in the prison. So woven, isn't it? So what yeah. happens with him? Um, he's just great for some wheelie dealering, I think. So that they kind of have a love hate just what relationship. Just a father. <laughs> Oh, there's, oh, no, there's no material there for a decent family. I mean, I don't know. Oh, she, well, she's about to sell the baby. Yeah, she she's just in no way emotionally attached to to her her own son. I mean, you know, I can't defend my character. She's absolutely outrageous, but yeah, she's um, she's thinking that's her next move. She needs uh, an insane amount of cash very fast. Hence why she was doing that initially. So, do you think she has any redeeming features? I think the touch of humour keeps keeps the audience liking her and I mean what redeeming qualities does she have she loves her family um she loves them so much <laughs> she's gonna sell one of them I mean yeah I, I don't know where I'm going with this she is a, an out and out bad bad girl. girl you couldn't be any more different well that's good because she, ca <laughs> she, she came in here and she sat imagine? down she looked across at the kitchen over there and said oh marble and copper I love a little bit of marble and copper it's, <laughs> it's like a Pinterest picture it is so what I've been googling on Pinterest. I just can't yeah, imagine can't her have... saying that <laughs> It's gorgeous, but no, I mean, we're so worlds apart. But then that's the beauty of playing a character that's just so naughty. And the audience do love her. I mean, do that's they? what's I mean, for her so. being so, you know, at times really quite dark. Yes. They do have a fondness for yeah. her. Yeah. There's an underbelly of humour and an underbelly of sinister. And I think as long as you've got the humour as well sometimes, I mean, there are storylines where, the, you know, there needs to be a more serious aspect and you can't have her. But she has some corking one-liners which kind of saves the day again and, yeah. and people go oh but you just got to hopefully love her I don't know and I think people can people come up to you in the supermarkets and yeah, say I get no, told she, off all the time she's, yeah. she's a devil but we yeah, love her yeah you're, you're a bad and you but we like you <laughs> and it's <laughs> great to be good. back it, I love my job I love it yeah well it's so lovely yeah. to have you back yeah it uh, really and, is and, uh, really Charity's is. return on Emmerdale is uh, tomorrow at 7 on ITV do not miss it arriving in that Nick Ferrari can I say hello to Albert yeah Albert hello oh, <gasps> stay in that high chair Albert <laughs> oh god I'm gonna have to get a new high chair <laughs>